Step three out of our 10 steps for the ultimate guide to Google business optimization for solar companies has to do with your service area and choosing the right service area. A lot of companies get this wrong because I think they get a little greedy. They want to be able to get as much business as possible and they choose these huge service areas, maybe across the entire state they're in or multiple regions, and it doesn't really make sense. Okay, the reason it doesn't make sense and why it's important to pay attention to this piece is because really what we're trying to do is choose what is a legitimate service area. So a customer looks you up online, they see where you serve. If they fall in that, they're gonna be excited about having you come out and do an install on their home, okay? So you can communicate what your real service area is, not where you'd be willing to go to, okay? It's not gonna make sense to choose a huge service area because Google's really only gonna show this business listing to folks that are searching in that city that you're actually located in with that listing. So if we look at some examples here in a moment, we're gonna see it makes sense to choose an area that might surround the metro area where you're in a couple of those suburbs and stuff. What doesn't make sense is choosing a service area that reaches maybe hour, an hour or hours away from where you're at because Google's never gonna show that listing to people in those cities anyway. So when it comes to do's and don'ts for this, what you do wanna do is choose a service area where you actually wanna target. The more specific you can be, the better because it's more accurate for searchers that are looking for you. What you don't wanna do is cast too big of a net because it's gonna dilute the power of this listing because you're trying to be everywhere at once versus just the area where you're operating right now. So think about it as well. Do you really want deals hours away from you having to spend more money to actually render that service? You know, maybe it's your installer doing it and you don't really care, but let's just, just think about the, the reality here that Google is only gonna show this profile to people in the area where they're actually searching. If we look at an example of a good versus a bad service area, what we have in front of you is an example of a good one. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is the example that's up on the screen. A good service area includes all of Albuquerque, and then it would include some of these other areas that are around. It'll reach up to Rio Rancho, reach up into Corrales, some of these other, like what would be considered the suburbs of Albuquerque. And you should do the same thing for your solar company. What you should not do is choose a service area that's like the entire United States, you know, or all of the entire state that you're in. What would be a better move is to get other Google listings that pertain to those specific areas. So these are some examples of good versus bad service areas. What you really want to do is focus where you're actually at, get other Google business listings if you want to target further than the actual cities that you're in. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Make sure to go in the description below this video and grab all your free downloads. If you like this video, you'll probably like the rest of them on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and check them out, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.